why do real things, when we roll them, not roll forever? You know you can't coast forever on a level surface, although if you get the friction down, you can coast for a good long while. What happens in a real wheel? Well, there's going to be some deformation of the wheel and where it contacts the ground. We've assumed that that point of contact or that line of contact didn't have any finite width, right? And that's, that's what, so we had a perfectly round circle and that's just tangent to the plane of the ground at one point. But in a real wheel, even if it's highly inflated, there will be a region of contact between the ground and the tire. And the normal force that the ground supplies to the wheel can be distributed across that region of contact. Now, the frictional force will be in the plane there regardless. And if I now consider what about the torques about the center of the wheel, it's possible. So I'm thinking of a wheel that's moving to the right <clears throat> that the, the frictional force is providing a torque to go which way? To speed the, to, to make the wheel go rotating better that way? Which way is the torque? Is, is the torque from friction about the center of the wheel clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Yeah, so that would be to make it roll and accelerate more to the right. But the normal force may make contact actually ahead of the axle. And the normal force then provides a torque that is in the opposite direction. So that torque tends to decrease the rotation of the wheel and decelerate the car. Yes, please. Absolutely. So, so I'm just approximating this normal force. It's distributed over the entire region of contact. But just like we saw that gravity acts as though it were concentrated at the center of mass of something, I can calculate the center of force for the normal force by integrating over that whole line of contact and then taking the average position. So I'm just, you're right, there, there's definitely a part on this side, but I'm trying to represent the net result of all of those forces of contact. Exactly. So real deformation, in real wheels, deformation actually leads to a torque that reduces the rate of rotation and so eventually takes away uh, the kinetic energy of motion. So why do trains use steel wheels? <laughs> then what? He says they deform more <laughs> than plastic. <laughs> yeah, so if you minimize the amount of deformation, then you can minimize the rolling loss. Any, any question on that? So before we were taking a very idealized view and that's typically what we're going to do in first approximation, but you might be bothered since real wheels don't tend to roll forever. I